Hello and welcome to the Lloyd Midseason Report. My name is Robert Goldberg. I'm here with head women's volleyball coach Brian Smith. Brian, thanks for taking a couple minutes to talk about. So, your first recruiting class this year is head coach of the Lloyd Volleyball. What were you looking for with the recruits and how they uh, met your expectations? Uh, we were just looking for a group of kids who were going to have great athletes coming in, be aggressive, and really blend in well with the personalities that we have on our team. We got a great group of uh, returners, and it's always hard at first bringing in freshmen and getting them to get acclimated to the entire process of the team, but they, they both did a nice job of that, and that's a big testament to um, our returners and our captains. So speaking of the uh, new freshmen, you have six new freshmen, two transfers. What have been your expectations of them coming in? Just to get in line with, with everyone on the team and uh, keep the expectations the same uh, with everyone. Um, you know, I, I think they're holding everyone accountable the same way. Uh, you get the best results with that. Um, and, you know, there are always going to be bumps and roads here and there. We've had that in the first month and a half of the season. But the, the good thing for us is uh, we're finding that consistency going to the conference. You spoke about your leaders, your captains. Who have your captains and leaders been this season? What have you seen from them? Our three captains, uh, Holly Mulder, Kat Darty, like Sir Signal, they've done a wonderful job, um, both on and off the court, of uh, holding the group accountable. You know, it, it's, it's a big group. We have 17 girls. Um, it's not easy to get everyone's personalities and mindsets all in, in line together. They've done a wonderful job with that. Um, and I think they're finding that in their first season as captains, it, it is a challenge. Um, and it's a challenge that doesn't end. There, there's almost no finish line to it until we're done with the season. Um, and they're, they're doing a wonderful job with that. So with your three team captains, all the new faces, team chemistry, how important that is to you and your program and what have you seen from the girls as far as chemistry goes? Team chemistry is everything for us. We play a sport where we only touch the ball for a split second at a time. Um, communication is everything. Um, there's six of us on the court at a time. And like I said, we have 17 people. Um, so for them to gel and to have good chemistry both on and off the court, we work a lot off the court with that with team meals, uh, team activities, all of it, um, everything and all, all the work that they put in as far as chemistry wise very much shows as far as the problem and the work. No, no, no one person can do it out there by themselves. So let's talk about a little bit you scheduled this season. You loaded up the front part of your schedule with a lot of tough opponents, a lot of tough volleyball. What, is, what was your expectation going into that? Has there, have there been any surprises? Yeah, uh, with the, you know, I say younger team, I think, I think every team has, regardless of youth or seniors on the team, I think every team presents the same challenge. How are they going to respond to adversity? So in, in the non-conference schedule for us, just want to put them up against as much adversity as possible, um, see how they respond. Um, it's, been, it's been pretty good. You know, you, you always like to win every, every game, um, but the, is that realistic all the time? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I think what's been great for us is uh, even after losses, we've had some nice bounce, bounce back wins. And, Got to see a bunch of different lineups and a bunch of different groups out on the court um, against these tough teams. So you're talking about a bounce back win. You guys had a tough weekend up in Massachusetts a couple weeks ago, but this past Tuesday night you played the outside local rivalry game. You go to five stuff with them and beat them. What did that say about each other? Yeah, it, it, it's it, it was a very fun match. It was fun. You know, we, we had great energy in the crowd. It was wonderful being back home. You know, for them, uh, for this group specifically, um, it was only their uh, second. Weekend, or excuse me, second, second date being be, be home in, in our home gym here. So it was awesome playing in front of our home fans. Uh, the energy in the gym was high. Um, and, you know, the five setters are, are great. It, it, it takes a lot. And it was good to see that, you know, you saw 15 4 last set we end up winning. That, that shows that we kept our energy high the entire game. Uh, we've we had a nice response to you know, the, the loss of the sets here. Of all the energy that they've generated over the last couple of days after the Adelphi, when you guys headed to conference play this weekend, does the mindset change? The mindset doesn't change. It changes. It, it, it you know, we're just trying to get consistency. I think consistency is, is the biggest word for us going forward. We're six and six, so that that to me tells me that uh, we have what it takes, but also we're consistent. Um, if we can lock in with our consistency as far as our approach and our product out there on the court, I think it's going to be a one for us going forward. Uh, it's always easier said than done. And uh, this group's finding out that, you know, it's it, it's hard. The, the season is supposed to be hard. Um, but what's great about conference play is you get each team twice. Um, they're going to have a lot of film on us, and we have a lot of film on them when we prepare. And then at the end of the day, it's all about who goes out there and plays hard. So you're talking about ECC play, tough conference. You know, you always have game at the top. What do you guys have to do as a group to succeed in conference play this season? 
just fight, just fight, and just stay in that fight consistently. You know, there's going to be a lot of teams that come out, and I'm, I'm sure they're watching us right now saying, hey, we're going to get better this season, so they're preparing for us. Um, I mean, that's going to work consistency. If we are consistent um, with staying in the fight, consistent in our approach, um, it's going to be a nice product for us. But it's not easy. Um, and uh, like I said, we, we see everyone twice, so it, it, it'll be wonderful to see everyone at first, see what result we get against them, and then everyone makes adjustments for later on in the season. Um, and then you hopefully you're playing your best ball going into the conference tournament. Ryan, thanks for taking a couple minutes with us, and we'll uh, talk.